Okay, you've got that down. Seems I've lost my. Um... It's an attending. Hello, it seems you went missing there. You're back. Uh, yes, uh, um, I got <laughs> locked out. Network issues, but I'm back now. Ah, okay, so have you got the um, the headings down? I'm 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 busy doing them. I'm almost okay. done. Okay, no problem. Okay, you got the run? Yes, sir. Okay, so let us have a look at the transactions and then we're going to see where you are. You will answer that in the, the assessment coming up. This is um, you will get a question similar to this and, and then the way you, you should answer it. Okay, so if we look at this company, it's Mr. Craze opened a small consulting business. And he's got the following transactions for May 2014. So we're going to take each of these and we're going to put it into that table. Mm -hmm. So let's let's look at the first transaction. Mr. Craze, that's his, uh, he's the owner of the business, transfer, transferred 150,000 rand from his personal savings account into the business's account. Okay, so if we analyze the transaction, I normally look at it from my bank's point of view and then I know where to, to you know where to go with the transaction so the transaction if we analyze it um, 150,000 rand came into the business so it came into my bank mm -hmm. and where did it come from it came from the owner so we know that if it comes into my bank my bank is an asset so my yes. 
my assets will be increasing. So we'll put a plus 150,000 for that. And where is it coming from? It's coming from uh, owner's, the equity. owner's equity. And that's also going to be plus 150,000. And then we put it in which account is debited. When money comes into my bank, I debit my bank. So there we go. It's plus 150 for the assets, plus 150 for owner's equity. We debit my bank and we credit capital account. Remember, every debit is a credit. So that is, and remember that the accounting equation must always hold. Okay. The accounting equation must always? Balance. Okay. So, yes, so because for every credit, there's a debit, and for every debit, there's a credit, right? Yeah. So, the 150,000 there is equal to 150,000, and it's both yes. pluses. So, the one can't, it cannot be a minus, the other one a plus. Then this whole thing is not going to balance. Okay. okay. So, you see that that's how we we we, we normally do that. So, okay, that is the first transaction. Yes. Okay. So, if we go look at the second transaction, um, we purchase a laptop from PC Planet, um, and the laptop was priced at fifteen thousand rand, mm -hmm. and it was purchased on credit. Okay, so if you had to analyze that transaction, what happened there? Okay, he purchased a laptop from PC Planet with assistance of consultants. So the laptop was priced at one fifty and was purchased on credit. Um, so he. We, I think the 15,000 is going to go under, um, assets if I'm not mistaken, because credit yes. is from bank, right? Um, credit would be the, so the asset is correct. We, we acquired the asset for 15,000. So the assets will go up by 15,000. Yes. Um, we haven't paid for it, so we bought it on credit. On credit, yes. So, so that will be under our credit uh, from a, uh, a creditor, and that will be under our liabilities. Okay. So we, and the accounts. Well, let's have a look at the accounts. There's our fifteen thousand under the assets is plus, and we know if it's a, a fifteen plus, it must be a fifteen plus on the other side. Yes. Uh, so there's 15 plus, but it didn't come from owner's equity. It came from liabilities. Liabilities, because okay. we owe them, right? We owe the money. We haven't paid for it yet. So we're going to debit equipment or computer equipment. And we're going to credit creditors or accounts payable. Okay. We did okay. not, um, we, we, we didn't buy, this is like going to Edgar's and you buy clothes on credit. Yes, uh, it's, it's not. We didn't obtain a loan from a bank or something. This is simply um, that we bought it on credit. OK, yes. Yeah, so let's have a look at the next one. So Mr. Craze took a loan from Easy Bank to help fund his business. 80,000 Rand deposit was deposited into Markets Bank account, the company's bank account. And we need to repay it in five years time. And the loan incurs interest at the rate of 15% per annum. Okay, so what is the transaction? Where you to tell me what what if you had to analyze it, um, what happened here? So 80,000 was deposited into Mark's bank account and is repayable within the five years' time. The loan incurs interest at a rate of 15% per annum. So, so a question that I have: do we also calculate the interest per annum or do, do we just focus on the 80,000? The, the the interest is not due and payable yet, so we ignore that. Okay. We simply, we simply look at the eighty thousand. What happened to this eighty thousand? Where okay. did it go and where did it come from? So the eighty thousand came from a loan, which was yes. deposited into the business's bank account. So that would be under um, assets. And will it will it be a plus or a minus? It would be a minus because it was a loan. No, no, no. Think about it. If money comes into my bank. Uh, it's a plus. It, 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 the, that's right. Yes, my, my bank account increases. So it, it will be a plus. Plus 80,000. Okay. And then, and where then it? it came from a loan. So that will be. A liability, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 
And then the account that we, under accounts debited, would we say it's a loan or? No, the account debited is your assets, your bank. Oh, bank, yes. Okay, when money comes into your bank, we debit our bank. And, and then we'll, we and then we're gonna the loan. The, the loan account, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm running um I've got load shedding and I'm running low on battery time, but let's uh, continue for as long as we can. Okay. So also our question. So for account debits, right? Will it always be assets and then account credit will always be um uh, not not necessarily. It, okay. it, it will depend on the transaction that you do. Oh, so everything depends on the transaction. Oh, what we debit and what we credit. Okay. Yeah, because you can, you can, um, for example, have an expense. Um, you could have gone and, and borrowed money to pay your salaries. Okay, they need to be, you, you're going to debit the expense, which is under owner's equity, and then you're going to have a loan liability. But that's very rare. Mostly there will be a, 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 on the asset side a transaction and on the other side a transaction. Okay. There are some trans there are some transactions that will only be on on the asset side. Okay. For example, for example, if you buy um, in, if you buy a computer equipment and you buy it cash, mm -hmm. okay, that means you acquire an asset, so assets will go up, mm -hmm. the equipment, but you paid it from your bank so your bank comes down so under the under the same asset there will be a plus let's say 10,000 and a minus 10,000 oh because your bank goes up but it also goes down because you're bringing in money and you're taking it out yeah the you you're buying the computer so you you acquired the asset um, but you paid from your bank so the asset goes up the computer but the bank comes down okay okay Okay, so um, we've done that. Okay, Mr. Cray has paid wages, 500 rand to a casual worker who helped uh, hand out pamphlets. Okay, so uh, if we analyze the transaction, money went out of my bank, 500 rand, and where did it go to? It went to pay wages, which is an expense. Yes. Okay, so, so we. It would be um, we credit assets. Yeah, so assets come down, yes. Yes, we credit assets and then um, also um, credit owner's liability. Um, I mean, owner's equity. Okay, but you can't, when you say credit, you mean a minus or is it an actual credit? Because you cannot have two credits. Okay, Either so it will be a minus under liability. It will be a minus on both sides, yeah. Because... If it goes down on the asset side, it must go down on the other side. Otherwise, yes, that's why I said it was yeah, a minus okay. for owner's equity because it's coming out of his bank. Yeah. Okay. So the bank, if money goes out of the bank, we credit our bank. Mm -hmm. Credit bank. And we debit the debit. wages expense account. Okay. Thanks. Then day fifteen. So please move to the next one. Um Okay, we can go to the next one. Okay. So Mr. Cray has provided consulting services to a client for which he provided the client an invoice of 1,800 Rand. The client agreed to pay Mr. Cray's uh, the, amount the, 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 the following month. Okay. So, okay. So what, what happened here? We, we invoiced, we, we had an income. Uh, mm -hmm. Remember... Remember, we record income when it is earned, not when it is received. And we uh, record expenses when they are incurred, not when they are paid. Okay, so in this case, we have earned the income. 
Okay. But the guy hasn't paid yet. Okay, so he owes us the money. Yes. So that means um, if, if we get an income under owner's equity, it will increase owner's equity because it's a profit, it's income. Yes. Okay. And if someone owes us money, is it an asset or a liability? He owes us money. He owes us money, so it would be an asset. Yes, 100%. So we will debit. There's a thousand eight hundred plus and a thousand eight hundred plus under owner's equity. Um, because so wait, so it's eight thousand plus under owner's equity because he owes us the money and we issued an invoice, right? Yeah, the the the, the and the owner's income it's it's uh, it's income earned, so we call it service or fee income. That will be Just the account credited. Fee. Yeah, and then we're gonna debit the debtors or accounts receivable account. Service income, and then we debit debtors. So in these terms here would be the terms that you want to see um, in the assignment, right? That, that's right, yes. Or account receivable. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Um, Mr. Craze developed a marketing plan for a client who paid 6,000 Rand cash for the services received. Okay, so if you have to analyze that for me, what, what happened there 6,000 Rand? Where does it go? Um, so we got paid 6,000 Rand. Yes. So then that would be a plus into assets yes. and then a plus on owner's equity. Correct. And which accounts will be debit and credit? Um, so we credit um, capital and debits bank. Okay, we debit bank, but not capital. It's, it's um, a fee income, service income. Oh, so it would be income. Yeah, you know, it's a sale, but we provide services. So in a service organization, we talk about service or fee income. Mm -hmm. um, if it was a retail business, uh, then we'll talk about sales. But um, in the service industry, we talk about service income. Service income, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, then um, Mr. Kreis used the business debit card to buy his daughter a birthday gift of 450 rand as he left his bank card in the office. Okay, so this 450, what happened there? Where did, where did it come from or where did it go? Um, it came from his debit card because he left his card in the office. So it would be a... It's from the, the company's uh, account, eh? the business could debit card. Okay, so then it would be um, we credit bank. Yes. And then we debit, um, I don't know, is it called owner's equity or what is it called? It is It is under owner's equity, but it's drawings. Oh, Any, drawings, that's what anything, it's called. Yeah, anything an owner takes out of the business um, is called drawings. Okay. So the transaction will look as follows. Um, there's four, the bank minus 450. Mm-hmm. Owner's equity for also minus 450. Okay. And so we credit our bank and we debit drawings. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, then on the 28th, we paid 5,000 Rand to PC Planet in part payment of the amount owing. So let's just refresh your memory. There we bought the computer. Yes. For 15,000 Rand. Now, now we are paying, we're paying the creditor 5,000 Rand. Okay. okay. So, what will, where did the money come from and where did it go to? The money came from the um, owner's personal account. So, it would be, um, so we credit bank. 
Yeah, and remember, it's not the owners, it's the, the company's account. The yeah? business, yes. The, sorry, the business's account. So we created the biz, um, the company's account. So okay. it would be minus asset and minus owner's equity. Um, it's it's uh, when we owe the money, it is a liability. Oh to, yes, because so it's then, not. Yeah, so the so the uh, um, we're going to credit our bank. Our bank comes down by five thousand rand. The assets and the liabilities reduced by five thousand rand. Okay, so we credit bank, and then the account that we debit is credited, right? Because it's a credit that we had. That that's correct. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we can go to the next one. Okay, yeah, there it says we paid the full month's interest due on the loan. Okay. <laughs> So if we look at the loan, it was for 80,000 and it's 15% per annum. Mm -hmm. So how much will it be for one month? You know how to do the calculation? Of 15% of 80,000 for a month. Yeah, so the 15,000 is for a full year. So you're going to take 15% of 80,000. Mm-hmm. And you're going to divide by 12 to get your interest for a month. So 80,000 times 15 over 100 divided by 12. Can I work? Can that, is that the right formula, sir? Yes, yes, yes. So 80,000 times 15 over 100 divided by 12. Then let me just get my calculator. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I calculated right. I got a, a thousand. That's correct. Okay. Okay. So what happens with that thousand? Okay. We paid it. So it comes out of our bank. Okay. And so our assets will decrease. And uh, interest is an expense. So our owner's equity will decrease. So this is still on the same day. That's on the 31st. Sorry, there's the date, 31st. Oh, on the 31st. Oh, I didn't see this. So on the 31st. Yeah. We calculate, okay, four months interest. So, so it would be um, assets decrease, right? Yeah. Assets decrease and uh, owner's equity decrease. Yeah. And then we credit the bank because it's coming out of the business accounts. Yeah. And then the account that we debit would be a loan or an expense. Uh, interest expense. Interest expense. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, I want you to. Um, I'm going to quickly go and start my generator. Okay. Um, if you can go to activity three K. On page 79 of the textbook. Okay. And so if you can start with, with those. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to start with activity 3A. Sir? Sir? Um, 
Were you saying I should start with activity 3A or 3E? 3K. 3K. Yeah. That's on page okay. 59. On page 59, okay. 79. 79, okay. I'm just going to log in with my phone and then uh, we can continue that way because my computer is switched off now. No problem. Okay, can you, uh, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you, sir. So I see on I, um page fifty nine. There's only like four um blocks. So do I only draw the four blocks then, or do I do the same as what we did here? Are you on page seventy nine? Yes. Yeah, do do the same as as, as we've done um, in in the in the the slide that's on the screen. Okay, no problem. Let me just draw the table properly then. Okay. Okay, I'm done drawing the table. Okay. Okay. The owner took clothing from trading in the for personal use, selling price was 1500 Okay, so this um, this is a bit more complicated. Um, we first, um, the, the, the actual transaction is easy, it's, it's the amount. So if we, if we, if we look at, um, the description 
They said mm-hmm. the following are um, miscellaneous transactions of Redgrave Media Traders for January 2011. Ignore that. The business uses the perpetual inventory method with a markup of 50% on cost. Okay, so so when the owner takes um, stock for its own use um, and the selling price of 1,500 Rand. Now, when we take the stock, we obviously we're not going to take it at the selling price. We have to take it out at the cost price. Okay, so so if the markup is 50 percent, um, it means that 1,500 is well. The selling price is 150 percent of the cost price. Does that make sense to you? Okay. So, so you're saying the selling price is 150% of the cost price? Yes, if the markup is 50%, so it's 150%, yes. So that means, um, so for the first transaction, we need to calculate the cost price also? We need to calculate what the cost price is, yes. Okay, so a formula for the cost price Cost price would be um, would it be one thousand five hundred times one hundred and fifty percent? No, that is one hundred and fifty percent of the cost, because they say that's the selling price. So you're going to divide it by one hundred and fifty times one hundred. Okay, so one thousand five hundred divided by fifty. Times, 150. Oh, 150 times 100. That's yes. a thousand. That's correct. Okay, so that's the amount you're going to work with. Okay. So, so the formula that I just did, can I use the formula every time to calculate cost price? Yeah, it depends on what the markup is. If the markup is 30%, it will be the selling price divided by 130 times 100. Okay, so let me just write that down properly. So if you write down the formula, you can say it's the selling price divided by, and then in brackets, 100 plus markup percentage. 100 plus markup. Close bracket and then everything times a hundred. And then times a hundred. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. So, um, so what? Analyze the transaction now. Where this thousand five hundred? Where did it come from, and where is it going? So the 1,500 came, the owner took clothing from trading inventory for personal use. Um, it came from so he, trading inventory, so, oh, he took clothing um, from trading inventory for personal use. So I think the 1,005 comes from the, um, the business accounts. Okay, um, it comes from inventory or stock. Okay, which is an asset. Okay. He's taking, um, they they say that the company uses a perpetual inventory method. So what that means is when they buy stock, they put uh, the stock in in a store, to basically call it like that. So they put it, um, they book it into stock, which is an asset. And as they sell it, they will book it out, out of the stock. So in this case, the the inventory goes out of stock, so the assets will go minus thousand rand. Okay, remember we're using the thousand only. Yes, decrease the thousands. And it went um, under. It, the owner took it, so owner's equity must also reduce by a thousand. And then that <clears throat> the account that we credit is trading inventory. Yeah. And what do you call the account where the owner takes stuff out of the business? 
Um, it's money or products. Taxi cash. No, no, it's drawings. Oh, drawings, drawings, yes. So that's that kind of the effort. Yeah, whether he takes money or stock, it, it, everything goes out as drawings okay. to, the, to the owner. Okay. Yes. Okay, then the next one on the 8th, uh, paid essay prop by EFT for trading inventory purchase of 10,000 Rand. Okay, so if we analyze that transaction, 10,000 went out of my bank. Mm -hmm. And where did it go to? It went to buy inventory. Mm -hmm. so, so if we then say, if it goes out of my bank, my assets goes minus 10,000. Minus 10,000, yes. But where did it go to? It went to inventory, which is also an asset. So my assets will also increase by 10,000. So in the same date, there will be a plus 10,000 and a minus 10,000. Oh, because he buy, he takes out of his account, but he also buys because inventory is an asset. That's right, yes. So the asset, asset decreases the, the, the bank, but it also increases the stock or the inventory. Okay. So, if, so which, the account that we're going to debit and credit, we're going to credit... The money goes out of the bank, so obviously we credit the bank. We credit bank. And then we debit um, your inventory or stock. It depends on which name you want to use. But we debit your inventory account. Do I say trading inventory or just inventory? Just inventory is fine. Okay. All right. Okay, so the 10th, um, analyze that one because we have done this before. Purchased an office computer on credit from Incredible Computers, 5,200. So, um, so this is a, a, a credit. So assets minus, because mine is going out of the business. Okay, no, 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 okay. First of all, we, we acquired an asset, the computer, okay? Yes. So we will increase our assets by 5,200. Oh, because we're getting a physical asset. Yeah. And have we paid for it? No, we have not paid for it. We buy, bought it on credit. So that would be, we credit a liability. That's right. So it's minus 5,200 under liability. No, no, plus. Remember, plus, if it oh, increases on the asset side, it must increase on the other side. Yes, plus. Yeah. So then, do we, so the accounts, then we credit bank. No, no, we haven't paid for it yet. We acquired the computer, so we're going to debit our assets. Okay, David. The has. account will be called computer equipment or equipment. Okay. And then we bought it on credit, so we owe the money. So under the liabilities, we're going to credit the creditor's account. Creditor's account. Okay. So with regards to transactions, right, how do we know like what what the right terminology to use? Um, for, for the, the account names. Yes, yeah, so like you see, like right now you're saying, like you remember with the previous one, there was like service income drawings. So I think if you look at, um, I'm just trying to find, um, There was an activity we did uh, where we classified the accounts in terms of um, in terms of assets, liabilities, income, and expenses. Mm -hmm. um, and that is basically um, 
Okay, if you look at page 64 of your textbook. Page 64. Yes. Oh. There's all the, the, the account names. Not all of them, but most of them is, is in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We can continue. Okay, then on the 15th, we said we yeah. had credit sales, credit sales of trading inventory with a selling price of 4470. Okay. Now, whenever do we have a sale under the perpetual inventory method? Remember I said when we did the perpetual inventory method, they 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 book the the stock, stock. into uh, they book the stock into uh, inventory, and when you sell it, you book it out of inventory and then to cost of sales. Okay. Uh -huh. So so we do on the 15th we're going to do two transactions. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, you're going to say we had a sale of 4470. So you will, um, under your owner's equity, it will be plus 4470 because it's a sale, it's revenue, it's income. Okay. Okay. But um, we sold it on credit. So we haven't received the cash yet. So the people owe us the money. So that will be people that owe us money is called accounts receivable. And they are assets, and accounts receivable is an asset. So we will then also debit, or will also be plus under assets for 4470. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then so the, the debit is so accounts receivable, right? Yeah, and the credit is sales. Receivable or income. And then the credit is sales. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But now, so we have now recognized the sale, but we must now, um, that stock that we sold must now go out of, of um, our inventory and it must go as an expense, as a cost of sales expense. Mm -hmm. So remember we said that we're working with a 50% markup. Yes. So if our selling price is 4470, uh, calculate what the cost price is okay. using that formula that we just talked about. So then that would be 4470 divided by 150 times 100. Yes. Equal to. Um, 447 divided by 150 times 100. 2980. That's correct. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working with. Yeah. Okay. okay so that's the amount. So we're going to take it out of inventory. So our assets will reduce by that mm -hmm. amount. Because we're taking it out, yes. And we're going to put it as an expense. Now, expenses fall under owner's equity. And if it's an expense, it reduces owner's equity. So it will be minus, under, on the assets, it will be minus 2980. Mm -hmm. And under owner's equity, it will be minus 2980. OK. So the account debited or credited. We're going to expenses get debited, so we're going to debit um, cost of sales. That's the account we 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 use. Okay. And we're going to credit, and we're going to credit our inventory. When you reduce your asset account, you credit you credit the asset account. Okay. Okay. Yes.
Then okay, so okay, so if we can move on to the next one, which is on the twenty seventh, um, it's again the same, the similar transaction. Okay, it's a similar transaction. However, this time the transaction was for cash. Okay, so it okay. says we. We had cash sales of trading inventory selling price 6950. Okay, so remember, we do, I want you to do it on your own. We do the first leg, we recognize the sale. Yes. We show the, the income and the sale. And the second one, we then remove the stock from inventory and show it as a cost of sales. Okay. So, so first we recognize the, the sale, sale, yes. It will be a plus on the assets. Yes. Side, which is plus six nine fifty. Yep. Plus six nine fifty, and then it will also be a plus on owners' equity. Yes. And then the account that we credit is a sale. Yeah. An account that we debit would be income or accounts receivable. No, no, it, the, the, it was for cash. Oh, cash so sales. So the, money go? so the money goes into the bank. Oh, because the cash. We debit our bank. So we yeah. debit bank. Yes. Okay. And then we have to calculate the selling no cost price. Cost price, yes. Okay, so. That would be six nine five zero divided by one hundred and fifty times one hundred equals two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, four thousand six hundred and thirty three. Yeah. So after the comma, do I just keep it at three three? Yeah. Yeah, just three three. Yeah. Okay. So that four thousand because um, we're taking out the inventory would make it minus under assets. Yeah. Six hundred and thirty-three. And a minus under owners equity. Yes. It's an expense which reduces owner's equity. Yes. And then um, the accounts that we would credit would be still inventory, right? Yes. yes. Inventory. And then the accounts that we debit. Um, do I say cash sales or? Uh, cost of sales. Cost of sales, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What that cost of sales means is, um, I had a sale of six thousand nine hundred and fifty, but the it cost me four thousand six hundred thirty-three for the stock that I sold. So I'm I'm gonna show the sale, and then the cost of that sale was the four six three three. So that is why we call it cost of sales. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, then on the 28th. On the 28th, returned some of the goods. The 1001 purchased from SA Prop on 8 January and received a cash refund. Yeah. So, if we returned something, that means money is coming into our bank, right? That's right, yes. So that would mean then it would be a plus on the asset side. Yes. Plus one thousand, right? Yeah. Plus one thousand, and then also owners' equity plus, right? No, 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 no. The, it is it, it. Where is it coming from? It's coming from the inventory that you purchased previously, that you now uh, sent back. 
So you will debit your bank to increase your assets, but you have sent back a thousand rands worth of inventory. So you're going to reduce your inventory by a thousand rand. So under inventory, it will be minus, uh, under assets, it will be a minus 1,000 as well. Oh, so because you're returning. Yeah, yeah. So then that means we credit inventory, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're going to debit your bank accounts? Yes. And you're going to credit your inventory accounts. Yes. All right, so I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. No, it's just exercise, exercise. It's, um... Yeah, it needs practice. Okay, day 29, we received dividend income of 8,000 Rand. What's a dividend? Yeah. Um, a dividend is if you uh, invest in shares mm -hmm. on the stock exchange, um, then um, the company that you invested in, if they make profits, the way they, they reward you or they pay you for your investment is in the form they call it dividends. So let's say you, if, if you put your money in the bank, um, mm -hmm. let's say a thousand rand, and you get five percent interest. You're going to get a um, thousand times five percent is fifty rand, and that would be called interest. But if you invested on the stock exchange, let's say you invested in SA Breweries, your thousand rand, um, then uh, the company will then, what the, the term is used, declare a dividend. And if it's five percent, they will pay you also fifty rand, but it will be called a dividend and not, and not interest. So it's. Okay. it's the return on your investment. Okay. But that's not sales. That's uh, okay. I don't want to get too technical, but that's other. It's not. It's not uh, sales income. It's other income. Okay. So because we received income into our account, then we we um debit bank. Yes. So that would be a plus for the asset. Yes. And then, um, because I invested shares, it would be a plus also on owner's equity. Yes, um, it will be a plus because that's income you receive, and income will be a plus under owner's equity. Okay, and then we debit bank, and then we credit um, income receivable, or you, you call it dividend, dividend income. Yeah. So dividend income, okay. All right. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. Now we can go to the next activity on the next page 80. And we can quickly run through that and see if you are okay with those. On page 80? Yeah. Activity three L. Okay. Let me just quickly draw another table.
Okay, I'm good to go, sir. Okay, so let's have a look at the first transaction. The owner contributed a desk of his equipment to the business valued at 2,000 Rand. Okay. Okay. So this 2,000 Rand, I always say, where did you go to and where did you come from? So it came from the owner's personal account? Yeah. So that would be, so that would um, be. and then it went into the business? Yeah. So okay. that so would be if it, a, a plus on the assets? Yes. So that's plus 2,000 Rand? Yeah. Um, so because he contributed out of his own pocket, do we minus um, assets also? No, no, it's, um, it's uh, if he contributes, it, whatever comes from him goes under owner's equity. Okay. So, so it's then a plus we on the plus on owner's equity or do we minus it? That's right, yes, plus. A plus. So it's a plus on the asset side and a plus on the owner's equity side. And, and then the, the relevant account. So we we um credit bank. No, 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 there's no cash. This is um he, he donated a desk of two thousand worth two thousand rand. So the assets we said we're gonna increase the assets. So which asset will we increase? Um, equipment. Equipment, yes, office equipment. And it came from, so we're going to debit office equipment. Yes. And, and it came from the owners. So whatever they put into the business is capital. And we okay. will then credit the capital account. Okay. And then on the first, again, the owner took trading inventory for personal use and the selling price was 3,000 Rand. Yes. Okay, so if you look at the top, it was, there's a markup of 30%. 30%, yes. Okay, so now we have to, that means we have to acknowledge two accounts again. Okay, in this case, and I don't know, they, they make this very complicated. Mm. Um, they say that the markup is on selling price. Now they, I, mean, I, I cannot, um, you know, the, the textbook assumes that you know how this works, because, but we, it was not covered in the previous um, chapters. So if it is a markup on selling price, the, 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 the previous um, activity, it was markup on cost price. Oh, okay. yes. Now it is markup on selling price. Yes. Okay, so what we do, markup on selling price, we're going to take the amount. So the selling and price. And, and we're going to multiply it by 100 minus the the markup percentage. Multiply by a hundred minus markup percentage. Yeah, so the hundred minus one hundred minus the markup percentage is in brackets. So you first calculate that. So in this case, it's be hundred minus thirty, so it will be point seventy percent. So wait, uh, I just got confused. The formula is selling price multiplied by 100 minus markup, right? Yeah, over 100. So in the brackets, so, so you have your selling price, then open bracket. Yes. And then top of the line, on top of the line is 100 minus 30. Oh. 100 minus the uh, markup um, divided by 100, close bracket. Okay, so... And we need a hundred minus thirty divided by a hundred and just calculate it. That's ninety nine point seven. Hmm? Am I right? Okay. 
So 100 minus 30 mm -hmm. is divided by 100. That will give you 0.7 multiplied by 3,000 gives you oh. 2,100. I'm oh, sorry, my calculator <laughs> made a mistake. 2,000 <laughs> times 0 0.7. Oh, what must precious. <laughs> So that gives us? Like 2,100. 100, yes. All right. All right, so that's what we're going to be working with, 2,100. That's the amount we're going to use. Yes. OK. So that means we're not going to be recording two accounts, we're just going to be recording from one. Say again? I'm saying for the, um for this, um transaction we're not going to be recording to just one which is this amount that we calculated right okay we're going to use this 2100 yeah so we're going to take it out of inventory and we're going to um, show it as a drawing so that would be a minus under asset right yeah of 2100 And then, since we're taking it out of inventory, it's going to be a minus. Mm, let me see. Okay, so we we take it out of inventory, so the assets go down by thousand uh, two thousand one hundred. But where did it go to? The owner took it out of the business, so that will be under owner's equity. Will also then come down with two thousand one hundred. Yes. And then we debit the drawings account, right? Yes, and credit the inventory account. Drawings and then inventory. All right. Yep. Then day eight. Purchase trading Purchase. inventory on credit yep. for 10,000 Rand. Yeah. So if we purchase something, that means logically your account goes down, right? Yeah, but we not we haven't paid for it. So we're getting, what are we getting? We're getting uh, trading inventory. Oh, on credit. Yeah. So we're getting stock which makes our assets a plus, right? That's right. So ten thousand. Okay. Um, but we haven't paid it back. No. Nope. So that would be a plus on the liability. That's right. Hundred percent. And then the account that we're gonna debit would be. Is it? Okay. Wait. We're crediting um, inventory, right? No, no. If in inventory goes up, we debit it. We debit oh, yes. Inventory. So it's inventory on the debit side. Yeah. And then on the credit would be bank. Yeah. No, 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 no. We haven't paid for it. We owe the money. It's under liabilities. So then would it be creditors? Creditors, yes. Okay. Okay. Then ten on day ten. Purchased an office computer for six thousand Rand cash. So yep. even if we purchase with cash, this is an asset toward the business, so it would be a plus on the asset, right? Yeah. 6,000 Rand. Um, and then we, it's also going to be a plus on the owner's equity. No, no, we paid for it out of our bank. Oh, so it's going to be. The bank is an asset, so, but it will go minus on it. Yes, so minus have... so because we took it out of our bank. Yeah, 
So your assets will be plus 6,000 and minus 6,000. And then the account that we debit would be, what did you say? Because it's cash and it's not bank. Okay, if, okay, if money goes out of your bank, you credit your bank. Yes. So we know we're gonna credit the bank. So we will have to debit the computer equipment. Computer equipment. Is that that's an asset that increases? Assets that increase we debit, and yes. assets that decrease we credit. So we're going to debit computer equipment and credit bank. Okay. Got it. Day fifteen. Credit sales of trading inventory selling price eleven thousand five hundred. So does it mean we sold inventory on credit? Yep. For 11,500? Yes. Remember, there are two legs to the transaction. Yes, so now we have to calculate the cost price. So we, yeah, we first record the sale, and okay. then we, we record the expense. Okay. So the sale that we made would be 11,500, which is a plus on the asset, right? Um, yes. 11,500. Um, and cause it's credit sales, we credit, credit sales, right? No, 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 no. Okay, first do the, the asset liability owner's equity thing. So we said we're going to debit our assets with 11,500. Okay. We're so that yes. increases. And, and it's an income a sale. So under sales, it's owner's equity. And that will also increase with 11,500. Okay. okay. And then the account that will debit would be okay that would be accounts receivable because you sold it on credit accounts receivable and then you're going to credit sales oh so this just remains as sales doesn't have to mean credit sales okay then i have to work out the cost Cost. All right, so that's going to be, okay, let me do this first. Um, I'm 0.7. Is it 8,050? That's correct. Okay. So now um, the 8,950, we have to pay. We're giving back. We're taking it out of our inventory. Yes. And so we show it be, as a cost of sales. So that would be a minus under asset, right? That's right. And then a minus under owner's equity. Correct. And then the accounts would be called um, we credit cost of sales, right? No, no, it's an expense that so we debit expenses. Oh, debit expenses. And credit inventory. That's right. Okay. Day 27. Where's my pen? Day 27, 
cash sales of trading inventory selling price nine thousand seven hundred and fifty. There's so many of these. Okay, it is similar to the previous one except it's for cash. So again, you have to do the two, recognize the sale, and then uh, show the cost of sales. Okay. So because we made a sale for trading inventory, it'd be a plus on bank for 9,750. Yeah. And also a plus on owner's equity. Yeah. And then the accounts that we debit would be um, money comes bank. into your bank, you debit your bank. Yes, bank. And then account that we created would be sales. That's it. Sales. And then we need to calculate again. Cost price? Yes. I must get a calculator. I can't be using my phone. <laughs> Six thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. That's it. Okay. So the six thousand eight hundred and twenty-five would be a minus under asset. Yes. And because it's a cash sale, um, we're taking it out, right, of inventory, so it's a minus on owner's equity. Yeah, because it's a cost that we have under owner's equity. Okay, and then the accounts that we credit would be inventory, right? Yeah. Inventory, and then the accounts that we debit, does it remain as is it an expense or bank? It's, a, it's an expense and it's called cost of sales. Cost of sales. Okay. Then on day 28, Paid the telephone bill 2,300 cash. So money's coming out of our account, so it would be a minus under assets, right? Yeah. And because it's a, tel a telephone bill, it's an expense, so would it be a minus under liability or under owner's equity? Under owner's equity. Expenses fall under owner's equity. Okay. 2,300. And then we're going to um, credit bank, right? Yeah. Credit the bank, and then we debit, ex do you call it expenses? Telephone. Telephone bill. No, telephone expenses. Telephone expenses. OK. OK. Then the last one, day 29. Received rent income for 3,000 rand. So that's money for us. It's a plus on the asset side. Yeah. And the plus on the owner's equity. Correct. And then account that we credit. Okay, wait, this is confusing. If we receive income, the account that we debit would be income received. No, no. When money comes into your bank, you debit your bank. Oh, yes. Debit bank. Because then we credit income received. That's right. Income received. Okay. Okay. 
think you've got uh, you've got the knack of this now. Um, So if you want to, on your own time, you can go through activity 3N, which mm -hmm. is the uh, theory questions. It's not uh, debits and credits. Okay. Uh, well, we can quickly read through it if you want to. I don't mind. Can you please, uh, 3M? 3N for Nelly, oh. page 84. Okay. All right, yes. Okay. I think this is good practice for the next coming week. I mean, next of next week. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's have a look there. The accounting equation is what? You've got the three options. Assets is equal to owner's equity minus liabilities. Owner's equity is liabilities minus assets. Or assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. Assets is equal to owner's equity plus liability, right? Yes. That is correct. Okay. And then. Oh, wait. All right. Then. Um, what is the definition of an asset? Okay. Cool. Wait, I remember you told us the same thing. It's A. It's A, a, yes. it's a, a present economic resource controlled by the entity as a result of past events. That's right, yes. Okay. Okay. In three, definition of a liability. Okay, we know it's not a resource. And the liability okay. won't have an inflow of economic benefits, so it's a, it's a present obligation. So B. Yeah. Okay. What is definition of income? Okay, no, it's not A because A is a definition of um, an asset. Yeah. Uh, B is an outflow of economic benefit. No, when we have income, money comes into the business. So it's C. There must be C, an inflow of economic benefit. Yes. And then the next question, what is the definition of an expense? No, it's not A. I think it's B. Okay, and expenses, um, why would you say it's B and not C? Oh, sorry. It is, I think, I what confused me is because the decrease in assets or an increase in liabilities, but an expense is always a decrease. So an outflow of economic benefits. Yeah, if an income is an inflow, then an expense is an outflow. Just, um, Okay. Okay. So let's have a look. Accounts or trade receivables can be classified as a current liability, a current asset, or a non current asset. So, first of all, is it an asset or a liability? The trade receivables, those are people that owe you money, they owe money to the business. Those are assets. They are assets, yes. Okay, and what's the difference between a non-current and a current asset? A current, a current asset, asset is something... They last longer yes. than a year, then a current asset That's has right. life spans, a lifespan of more than one year. Of less, than one, less year. than one year. 
Less than one year, yes. So, so this would try to see those be a current assets. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, a, so then accounts and trade payables would be what? So this is what we have to pay, right? Yeah. Uh non no no. It's a liability, right? Because we're paying for it. Yes, it's a liability, it's something you need to pay. And are you gonna pay it within a year or longer than a year? Uh I think accounts or it depends on the account. So can you say non current? No, no. Trade payables, normally when you buy from suppliers, they give you 30 or 60 days to pay. Okay, so, so then it would be a current yeah. liability. Okay. And then number, number eight, when a business purchases goods on credit from a supplier, the supplier will be identified as what? A data, a creditor, or inventory. When a business is purchased good on credit from a supplier, the supplier will be identified as a creditor? A creditor, yes. Because a creditor, a creditor and, 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 and trade payables is the same thing. Okay. okay. A debtor is someone that owes you money. An inventory is, is stock, it's trading inventory. So, okay. Okay. The proprietary proprietor accounts for business include So what's a proprietary account? <laughs> okay, proprietary accounts, that's uh, the proprietor is the owner of the business. So what account belongs to the owner of the business? Um, that's capital and drawings. Okay. So everything that belongs to the owner of the business. Yeah. So that's the capital and drawings account deals with the transactions of the owners. That's what's called propriety accounts. Okay. Hmm? All right. Um, when considering Profits, the equation for assets can be represented as assets equal capital minus drawings plus profit plus liability. That's the capital plus drawings plus profit plus liability. Assets equal capital minus drawings plus profit minus liability. Yeah. <laughs> okay, remember the equation is assets is equal to owner's equity. Plus liability. Yes. Okay. So so it can't be the last one. So let's have a look at the um, the the first one. So under owner's equity, remember capital is the money he puts in. Mm -hmm. You then subtract the drawings because that reduces what he's put in, and you add the profit. So, so it would be A. A would be the correct answer. Okay. Okay. The debt represents the customer who sell to on credit, the left hand side of an account, an unpaid liability. The left hand side of an account. Yes, that's correct. Okay. The credit represents the right hand side of an account. Yeah, that's it. Then, what is the purpose of cross-referencing? Cross-referencing is a debit and a credit rule. Cross-referencing is essential for keeping track of contra accounts in the ledger. Cross-referencing is used to balance accounts. Is it not used? Is it not number C used to balance accounts? No, but what cross-referencing means is, um, let's say I pay salaries, mm -hmm. cash. Okay, then on my bank, I'm going to write salaries, 1,000 Rand. And on my salaries account, I'm going to say bank, 1,000 Rand. 
So that's what we mean by cross-referencing. So it's simply so you can track the the uh, the counter accounts, the contra accounts. Oh. So if you if you're just say in your bank a uh, thousand rand and you don't put what it is for, you won't know where it went to. So that is the cross-referencing is for keeping track of the contra accounts. Contra accounts mean um, the other account that's either debited or credited, depending on what you did on your account. Okay. Okay, then. What are two inventory management systems used to keep the inventory? It's the perpetual and... Okay, we covered that in, uh, in the session that's on, um, on, on Tuesday, but it's the periodic and perpetual method. Okay, so when will you be uploading the recording for Tuesday? Um, I'm, I'm sending it today, um, or tomorrow morning I'll send it so that everything gets uploaded. I can send it in the meantime. I'll, okay. I'll ask put Tuesday stuff on there. Okay. Inventory is defined as goods available to customers for resale, cost of sales of every resale, the assets used for operating over a long time. I think that's A, right? Inventory is the goods available for, for customers for resale, sale. Yes. Okay. That's correct, yes. Under the periodic inventory management system, inventory is recorded in the accounting records as under the, the periodic inventory management system, inventory is recorded. It remains inventory, right? Or trading stock. Inventory, inventory or trading stock, yes. Okay. Okay. So that was not too difficult. No, it wasn't. Okay, so next week um, we will be doing um, some revision. Um, and then for the assignment that's coming up. Did you get notification that you are, are you going to be doing these uh, uh, at, at the campus now? No, no. So we, I was still online because it's You're two parts. Online. The one part is an assignment. The one part is the accounting equation. Okay. I think it's only for Finman too that they're doing it on campus. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't sure. Okay, no, it's fine. Um, but I'm sure that um, you should be able, if you can do these transactions that we've done today, um, at least you will be able to do that one question. I think it's 30 marks or something. It's 40. All the debits and credit. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you should be able to do that. Okay. okay. Thank you. And then we'll um, talk on uh, Tuesday again. Okay, thank you, sir. So can Thanks, I please ask that day. you um, just email me the, the link for Tuesday's part-time classes? Oh, no, on Tuesday I can attend, it's fine. I mean, on because it's contact, yeah, right? It's contact, yes. Yes, I don't have, let me just make sure that I don't have anything clashed there. Yeah. Oh, wait, I do. I do have something clashing. Um, okay. Please send me the link for part time. Okay, can you send me an email? Okay. Because I don't, I don't have all do your so. uh, email addresses. So just send me an email and ask that I send you the link for Tuesday evening's uh, session. Okay, no problem. Okay. Sir. Okay, thanks then. Bye. Goodbye.